Greetings. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at a 1939 Rockola luxury light-up. As you can see, the plastics on this, and these are Catalan plastics, are monstrous. Um, they're probably the largest plastics on any jukebox that I've ever seen. They're huge. Um, you notice that the overall design is completely different than the Wurlitzer jukeboxes we've been looking at. In fact, inside uh, the design is even has even greater difference. Um, Rockola was just a master of very simple engineering. Uh, if Wurlitzer took 20 parts to accomplish something, uh, Rockola could do it in probably three or four. And for that reason, these jukeboxes are extremely reliable. They don't have near the value of the Wurlitzer jukeboxes, and I have to say, it really doesn't have the looks uh, of a, of a Wurlitzer. Uh, just that classic design, that Art Deco design that the Wurlitzers had. But it's really a great looking jukebox, I think, in its own right. And it has a lot of character. And it works very well, as we'll see. I'm not going to do a tune-up on this like I had, had to on the Wurlitzers. I'm just going to walk up, drop in a quarter, and see what happens. And uh, then, while the jukebox plays, we're going to take a look inside and uh, I'm also going to pull it out and we'll take in a look in the back. So you're going to get to see every square inch of inside and out of this jukebox. I hope you find it interesting. It's sort of an, an interesting alternative to the Wurlitzer and a really neat jukebox in its own right. So let's get started. Okay, here's the Ruckel all lit up. As you can see, it's quite a sight. Uh, I'm just going to walk over now and put a quarter in and hope for the best. And then I'm going to take you on a visual tour of the jukebox while it provides the background music. Hope this works out. This device tells what record is playing. Now let's open it up and take a look inside and see how it works. You can dance, every dance with the guy you the eye, let him hold you tight. You can smile, every smile for the man who held 
your hand and it's the tell of life. But don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, say the last dance for me. Ooh. Oh, I know, oh, I know. Let the music shine like sparkling oh, wine. Go and have your yes, fun. Laugh and sing, yes, I know. but while you are hard, don't give your heart to anyone. The rod in the back right corner comes up through the top of the jukebox. So you can adjust the volume right here if you have a screwdriver. Baby, don't you know I love you so? Can't you feel it when we touch? I will never, never let you go. The mechanism looks almost like a spiral staircase. You can dance, you can dance. These are the coin shoots. Nickel, diamond, quarter. If he asks, if you're all alone, can he take you to the hospital? Simple little 4 amplifier. Cause don't forget the cash box. Very simple and very reliable. Okay, let's take a look in the back. Okay, here's the rear view of the 1939 Rockola luxury light-up. Reminds me of the mothership in Close Encounters of the Third Kind. We've got a mural that covers the rear of the record playing compartment, so we really can't see the stack and tone arm. But we can get a, a better look here at the mechanism. As you'll see, it's completely different than the Wurlitzer mechanism, which was horizontal like shish kebabs or skewers with all sorts of pulleys and gears on them. This is a like a corkscrew or a spiral staircase that's going to rotate and very simple, uh, very few moving parts, but it does everything that the Wurlitzer mechanism does and actually a little more reliably. I'm going to make it work here pretty soon and we can watch it as it uh, picks up a record and plays. We've got our really nice old Jensen speaker uh, four tube amp. We've got our volume control rod that comes up through the top of the jukebox. Uh, we've got some really stylish looking coin shoots for the nickel, dime, and quarter that we're going to go in right here. Nickel, dime, quarter. This is the coin mechanism here. It's just a simple little box with micro switches. One for a nickel, two for a dime, and five for a quarter. Very simple and very reliable, which is the mantra of the Rockola jukebox. Over here, the power switches. This would be main power, and this would be the auto and manual switch that we saw on the Wurlitzer. Okay, I'm going to slip a nickel in here. I'm going to bypass the slug rejector, which is hard to see, but it's right up there. We saw it with the front door open. And I'm going to bypass that. I'm going to slip the nickel in right here. And let's see if we can get this thing to pick up a record. And play. Okay, now watch. See how it, it's like a corkscrew that's rotating. It's going to lift this arm up. This is the turntable arm. Lifting the record up to be played. How simple is that? Very effective. bit of fun farewell to the 1939 Rockola luxury light up hope you enjoyed the tour and I hope you
you stay tuned as we take close looks at other classic jukeboxes. Thank you for your time and interest.